Hey guys, today we're going to do another review on the uh, the Bridgestone Blizzak WS80s. Um, I posted a video yesterday which actually I was on the same road here as today which was like completely, completely icy. So now we're adding a lot of snow on top of the ice to the equation so I just wanted to give you guys like a good feedback on literally this being my fourth year on the Blizzaks which uh, that wasn't a part of my plan on keeping because I, I don't usually try to keep my winters on beyond three years, you know? So I mean, it's just better for traction usually if you don't, but I mean, since I'm not gonna be driving that much, I'm gonna just show you guys how, how good these uh, these tires are still going on the fourth year of, of being on them. Actually, here, I'll just keep going straight here. And as you can see, I don't know if you guys can pick that up on the video, I was actually trying to do like a quick stop because I wanted to take a left turn, so I'll just go around this uh, roundabout here and turn around. But as you can see here, you know, the, the traction is very good. I got a guy here that's in front of me. Just take it a little bit easy. I can smell the dope. They're smoking some good weed. Um, but hey, let's get back to this. So as you can see here, I'm going about 40 now. Let's pick it up pretty quickly, you know. And and just to give you guys an idea, I, I really did like the pedal response on the uh, on the on the Mustang itself because it's kind of slightly delayed. So what I'm using is Pedal Commander, which allows you to pick and choose whatever throttle response that you actually like on your own car. So I did that on purpose there. You guys just let you know. So, I mean, as you can see, I was actually flooring the crap out of the car. Didn't go out of control, you know, um, which is, it's really amazing that these tires can actually provide you. Here, we're going to take a quick left here. If there's no cars around, I'll give it a little bit of gas, too. You know, so... Yeah, so going back to the pedal com commander, you can actually buy that for any type of car that you want. You know, because if you feel that your your uh, your acceleration is, is slightly delayed, because this has the drive-by wire for the 2016 Mustang, so it, it, it just never felt right when you're flooring the car. There's like this slight pause, you know, uh, be, be before it would actually accelerate. So by me or by you adding the pedal commander to it, you actually have the eco mode, uh, the sport mode, and the sport plus modes, which allows you to actually like to perfectly throttle your response to the way you want it to, to respond from a, up to a negative uh, four or, or, or a positive four or is it positive five or positive four it's, it's one or the other um, but I actually have mine on positive three here you know so so that was the roundabout I've actually never been to this back street here but as you can see here I mean going up to 40 or 50 because I don't want to go past 50 or 60 in these zones here because it is very slippery. Just to give you an idea, if you look at the video yesterday, the uh, the roads back here, they haven't been salted or, or, or sanded or anything. So the, the streets are all full of ice. Yeah, so I, I, I gave it some gas around that corner there. It's just the, the traction is really, really good, you know. So we're going to go here. You know, I, I just can't believe it. You know, I was that close to jump, jumping on the WS90s. And because my son has it too, because I know they have awesome reviews. But I mean, if I don't need to change it, I might as well just keep these WS80s for another year. You know, and then usually when I actually remove my tires, I can still get money for them anyways. You know, so I mean, it, it's not really tough because they still have like at least 50% plus traction on them. So they still do have traction. And what I did like in the previous video, like I mentioned, I actually added the... Uh, 200 pounds of of, uh, of weight in the back seats. So what I did was I went to Canadian Tire and grabbed uh, five bags, five 40 pound bags of the uh, the smoke pellets for the smokers and just added weight to the back seat. And it just it really makes a big difference in the real wheel drive cars because this is a 2016 Mustang GT, right? And it's actually tuned by Palm Beach Dyno and it's it's practically a full bolt on with high flow cats because on on underneath I actually have uh, Mac race pipes which didn't actually have cats that was installed and it was just, I found it just too loud for me. So I put some uh, Thunderbolt high flow cats, uh, an X pipe and a Borla S type axle back, you know, and uh, you know, it, it's got the, a 2018 intake manifold also, a JLT, a cold air intake and a few other mods, you know, with a PBD tune. So, I mean, as you guys can see here, traction is still good. And we're 
we're going to take out right here. You know, I'm pretty sure that most people will not drive like a, or accelerate really quick with these type of cars, especially in this icy and this snowy conditions. Right now, we actually have some slush that's actually on top of this ice. You know, I, I can actually feel the ice myself because I know it hasn't melted here. We'll give it some gas. Do a little fish tail, which is good. Pretty sure you guys can hear the engine, so you know I ain't shitting about, you know, uh, accelerating this car. So I'm going to go right here. You know what, going back to the review guys, I hope you guys, you know, can see that I'm not going out of control. I gave it a shitload of gas on some corners. I'll do it here too. And you know, I'm still able to stay in control without any worries about the car going out of control. You know, even under hard acceleration. So I'll, I'll uh, go down for another minute or so and show you guys some more here. We're gonna pick up speed for, we're going at 50 now. I'm gonna go 60, I'm at 60 right now. Okay, we're coming around a left turn here, dropping down to 50. Just got to be careful because some cars, they might not have a good tires too, you know, and just, you both end up hitting that same corner and you're deep shit. So we'll give some gas here. Oh, that's not bad. That's really good. That's really good. The old man was looking at me like I was freaking crazy or something. Just having some fun, buddy. So, so we'll just take the bit of gas there what I'll do is I'll take it right here I'm not sure if I can actually take a left at this turn here because I don't really know the back roads to this new area because it's it's completely brand new these homes are just built like probably like two months ago um, yeah no I can't take a left here so if you looked at the previous view, I wasn't as aggressive on the turns here, but as you can see here, I'll drift around this one here. There's no cars coming around the corner, which is not. Wow, you know, these tires are awesome. I wish I could have some more fun with you guys. I mean, but I hope that this video helps you guys decide on the, uh, on the tires. You know, like I said, you, you might as well just upgrade to the new WS90s because the w, WS80s, I mean, it's still being sold, but you might as well just get the better ones because the new ones came out. They've been around for about two years, the WS90s, and it's supposed to give you better fuel, you know, uh, mileage, better tread wear, uh, less road noise, you know, and and I think for the, the side lateral control, it's supposed to be a, a little bit better so that you, you don't wobble around the turns. Cause that's the one thing I do notice with these tires, especially on, on like on on a wet road with no snow and stuff. If you're actually exiting like highways and stuff, it, it, you, you tend to feel like your you, your car wants to slip out. You know what I mean? But but these tires were made for this type of condition, though. You know, so that's the amazing thing with these tires. So I hope that this uh, review helps you guys out, and uh, you know, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.